We're here at Pin Traders, you guys, in Disney Springs. And as you can see, the big doors that surround this octagon building are blocked off, roped off to control the traffic so you can keep your space. We just reopened a few days ago. I'm with my friend Chris. You have some pins, don't you, Chris? Yeah. See what's in here. You have your important health and safety reminders. Sanitizer station. So you guys are gonna see as we're looking around here, some things are different and set up differently, laid out differently than normal. I'm trying to think, I usually come in this way. It's exit only. Or this way, which is across the walkway from Once Upon a Toy. Chris did point out though, this is where they had the limited edition case. It was a glass case, as you can see. It is a glass case, but they just put a covering on it. They show you all the limited edition pins for sale. But it's closed because they don't have any right now. And I actually know that you can get them on Shop Disney because I've seen that they've been putting yep. them on there like on Thursdays or whatever the release date is. Uh, they have this thing here, which wasn't here in the past, you know, in front of the door, where they just have, you know, some regular assortment of pins in there just for display purposes. They still have the pin bags and the mystery pin bags and all that along this wall where they used to be. This this part hasn't changed. I actually don't think I've seen this before, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, it's awesome. Monsters University mystery box. Mystery boxes are $15.99. I mean, it's, they may vary in prices, but it's a pretty standard price and you get two pins in there. They can be any of the pins you see on the back here. You don't know what they are until you buy it and open it. You can't return it or exchange anything like that. It's just a surprise. But all these here are the mystery boxes. They do come out with new mystery boxes occasionally. Oh, the Incredibles. Oh, that's cool. It's really fun when you're opening a mystery box to first look at the back and say, hmm, I wish I had this one or I wish I would get this one and then open it up and see if you get it or not. Masks are required. The store is open until 10 o'clock at night. It's pretty close to closing right now. But in general, I don't think that Disney Springs has been very busy at all. They do encourage social distancing. You do have to wear a mask, like I said. My mask is from the Playful Princess on Instagram. I'm gonna link that below. I absolutely loved it. I have on my Alice in Wonderland pants, so I'm kind of matching right now. But I love how she made this mask. Going around the corner here, we have this section, welcome pin traders. This is where what's new was and still is. So you do have all of the new pins that they have here put into this section. So you can literally just come in here and be like, what's new? And then look and see. This is a beautiful, and did you see Hercules and Pegasus? Oh my gosh. These are also new and these are so beautiful. This card is, obviously like a themed card but the pin is just a tiara and it is gorgeous. jeweled isn't it gorgeous so they've got the princess uh, ariel and Belle. isn't it That's gorgeous the only two right now yes so yeah. it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i'm pretty sure i've seen an aurora a month or two back before the parks closed <gasps> look 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 does it do something it does something is it like a bobble is it a Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's cool. I love that. And the pin prices do vary. They don't price them on the back, they put colors. And then there's a little sign saying how much the colors are. So the pins start, the cheapest one you can get, $9.99. Then there's $12.99 and then $14.99. And then of course, limited edition pins are more and they're usually like $17.99. Then there's booster packs and mystery boxes and all those, you know, are different. Moving on next door is Mickey and Friends. So the things are kind of, you know, pretty much in separate sections to help you find things easier if you're coming through here to look around. But do look at everything because you never know what you'll find anywhere. But yeah, these are all Mickey's here. This is Mickey and Friends also. So Mickey, Minnie, basically those are like the Mickey and Minnie's. These are Mickey and Minnie's. Over here, still Mickey and Friends, but you actually have more of the Friends. This Donald is cute. Look at Pluto and his dog house. But no Goofy. I love the photo bomb. Yeah, where's Goofy? This is Mickey and, and his only, friends. They only have Goofy with all the others. They don't huh, have I don't see Goofy. There. I'll tell you what I do see. Look, they used to have the pins on the black carts. And then they changed them all over slowly to the white carts. I really like the white ones much, much better. Look at the difference. Like, they just look so much cleaner and just uh, makes you want to buy them more, right? <laughs> This here so next to Making Friends Princess is Princess and Pixar. These pins, you know, when you're in different parks and different resorts, oh my gosh, look at Mulan. You can find some of these pins at yeah, some locations, but you can't get them all everywhere. Oh. 
but then you might see pins in the park or resort that you don't see here. So always look everywhere if you collect pins, and if you see a pin, you really want it where you're at, you should buy it, because you don't know if you're gonna see it again later. So, oh, I love that. I really love that pin. Who backfired? Oh, that's got kind of goofy. Well, it's, yeah, it's kind of bad. <laughs> Hey Chris, there you go, a mood pen. Did you see this? Mm -hmm. Today I'm feeling, and you move the little thing on top. There you go. <laughs> I don't think that uh, that went too well. <laughs> oh wait, there we go. There you go. I'll be joy. I'm gonna turn around here so you can see there's these cute little displays of characters, which, I mean, you're not really supposed to get on them, but a lot of times you come in here and people are literally on top of them taking pictures. <laughs> we have family pictures uh, with these things, but not on them. And then there's a checkout counter, and behind the counters they like to keep the pin bags. That's like a new pin bag right there. They have some Funkos. Sometimes they have some framed pin sets like that cruise line one up there. And look at this, they put up this plastic in front of the register to help because of the pandemic. Like I said, there's hand sanitizing stations. And I do want to show you this pin bag because it really is cool. They don't make too many pin bags these days, but this one is $49.99 has the classic pin trading book pages that you put your pins in and it velcros right here. So that's the section we just came from. Here's a whole other section. This is animated features, theme parks and resorts, and theme parks and resorts. You can find a variety of characters. Some characters, there's lots of pins like featuring that character. And some characters are way more elusive, hard to find, and you're not gonna find too many of them. You know, especially with like Stitch. Stitch is so popular, you think there'd be bunches of Stitch pins. There's really not that many here. Lion King, Moana, there's a few Moana pins. You got one Mushu and Cricky. Cricky, right? One Mushu and Cricky. It's not Crikey. Crikey's like a bad word right. in England. <laughs> Mushu and Crikey. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is cute. Look, Wild Side. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, one facilier. I'm surprised they don't have like a villain section. You know? That would be cool. Here is the theme parks and resorts, which is four sections as compared to two for animated features. Here you're going to find some of the pins that you would, you know, find in a specific theme park or just representing theme parks in general or Walt Disney World in general. You got the Spaceship Earth icon. This is like for World Showcase. You got the flags. And you have the pins like this. Look for Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. This one's cool, it says Trekkin. That's pretty actually. Haunted Mansion, quite a few Haunted Mansion pins up here. This Big Thunder Mountain Railroad pin has been around for so many years. Like lots of times they make a pin and it's it might be out for a year or two or three or four even, but then they redo it to be a little different. This pin here, it's a slider, see? Eee. Yeah, I swear they've been making this pin for probably over 10 years. Same with this Flash Mountain pin. It's really cool. Lots of cool pins. Slinky Dog Dash. What you got? Oh, you have a diorama. Oh, I love those. It's Disney Cruise Line. I'm just gonna hold it in light a teeny. Look from the side, you guys. See, it's like a diorama. They are very fragile though, if you in your pin book. I've seen multiples of these just collapse in. So be very careful with these. This one's pink. Pink is $14.99. Oh, so he got this out of the cruise section. I forgot, I was gonna tell you guys, they have a big cruise section here. Normally, you can only get cruise stuff on the cruise line, except for pins. Like you can go to any park here, any gift shop and buy like Disney Cruise Line shirts and cups and stuff. Well, you can at the outlet sometimes, but pins you can get here, but they vary. Oh, I love that. My first cruise. Look at how pretty these are. So pretty. Oh my gosh, look, it's your favorite place. <gasps> Trader Sam's. Sam's and I love Trader Sam's too and I like this one look it's the Polynesian Village this is the Polynesian oh, Village nice. the one we just showed you was Trader Sam's oh my god I love this look two pins get Yeti because here I come <laughs> all dolled up and Yeti to go this $14.99 you get two pins look Chris even found a captain's pen this pin up here is cool. We're going back and forth on cruise, the parks, cruise, the park. This one is like a real, it's like a patch. It's made out of like a patch. Oh yeah. It's cloth. So is this Wilderness Lodge pin. So we're leaving the theme parks and resorts and animated features section. As you've seen, as I've been walking through, we had some pity machines, but I never saw this before. Collectible medallions. Five dollars each or three for 10. They take credit card. 
cash. No change given. And here they are, Disney Springs 2020, right there. Mickey Mouse, is there all Disney Springs? Five dollars each or three for 10. Hey, take credit card, cash, no change given. And here they are, Disney Springs 2020, right there. Mickey Mouse, is there all Disney Springs? Yeah, they look like it with different characters and stuff. And then we have some Funkos. Oh my gosh, Chris, it's the Disney Skyliner that's a Funko ride. And Mickey's inside it. That is so cute. So yeah, I can find some collectibles here. Look at that giant Indiana Jones. And this is new for the summer right here from Wonderground Gallery. We have another big open, I like to call them like garage doors. They even come down like garage doors. <laughs> and another character spot here. Some more hand sanitizer, another register. This place is usually so, 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 so busy in the summer. And then this section and the one next to it is the last section before we're finished in the store. It's nice, but it does get hot in here because it's all open. We have some hats over here. This side, this section varies like yearly. Right now it's hats. They used to be like lanyards and booster packs and Funkos. I've seen a lot of things here over the years. They have a lot of these Indiana Jones Funkos, and that 39.9 is not bad for that big old thing, is it? They're supposed to release them, though, obviously earlier, since the closure oh. they didn't get to. So you can also find pin trading lanyards here, and they have a really nice variety right now. Oh my gosh, this is new. Look, it's Mickey, and it even has the little ID holder thing. They're cute. Oh, there's a mini. Oh my gosh, I love that. How much? This 12.99, and even that's a good price because one of these regular lanyards is 12.99. So you get this for free. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of variety of lanyards. And a lot of these are reversible nowadays. Ooh, Black Spire, Nightmare Christmas. See the reversible ones I'm talking about? This on one side, this on the other side. Here you go, Chris. Ooh, I like Look that. Look at the inside with Facilier. Mm -hmm. Pirates Caribbean, a stitch. That's cute. And then um, the balloons down there. Oh wow, that's really cute. Over here on this freestanding rack, we have Pirates. And it's a big collection. Sports, you can find so many things here. Even cheerleading pins. We have Marvel pins over here. Lots of Marvel pins. Winnie the Pooh and Friends gets his own section, man. And, and Alice in Wonderland's even in it. You know, she's just here randomly. Over here we have a whole section of Star Wars, but these are from Hollywood Studios. Wow, another rack of Star Wars. Here's another section, but it's not... It's not labeled, but I see the Muppets, I see Jack Skellington. I see some Disney Channel stuff. Scrooge. Lizzie McGuire, Tailspin, Kim Possible. On this wall we have the booster packs and the lanyard charms and pouches. So booster packs come with, oh my gosh, Chris. Eh, can't get it off. Look how gorgeous, they're like matte. Oh, I like that. I haven't seen that before. Booster packs are four pins, or actually sometimes there's more than four. For example, this is an older booster pack, seven pins, and they're usually around $30. How much is that? That's a newer set. That one's $27.99 for four pins. It's cheaper. If you want pins to trade, buy one of these instead of four individual pins, because the cheapest pin is $10. So you're gonna pay 40 bucks instead of 27.99. Here's all the booster packs they have. And then they also have things called starter sets. And they come with a lanyard, not reversible usually, but sometimes maybe, and four pins. And these are 32.99, once again, cheaper than buying four pins and a lanyard separate. So lanyard charms are these things, they're pretty heavy. He's, look how cute. And they're, wow, that one's 17.99. That's more than I thought it was gonna be. It's heavy, so it weights down your lanyard. And not only does it look cool, it actually keeps your lanyard from flying around and kind of weights it down, makes it easy to wear, you know. You can also get a set that has like a lanyard medal and a matching pin, which is $19.99. This lanyard medal, wow, $17.99. I feel like these used to be $9.99, I really do. That one's adorable. And then they have lanyard pouches, which you can put, you used to be able to put fast passes and stuff in there, but now you would just put IDs and your park tickets, stuff like that, and these are $9.99. Over here, we did have a wonderful pin trading board. <laughs> That's what this section used to be, here where the drinks are. Oh, that's cool. Over here on the wall, Chris, you found a, a new release board, huh? Well, but it's, it's back in March before <laughs> the closure. So they had put all the pins coming out in March and the dates are coming out and the edition size and everything like you'd find online. And then behind me, you just have 
Like I said, they didn't used to have this much odds and ends in this store. They added more odds and ends, but they have keychains. More keychains. Luggage. Oh yeah, luggage tags, ID holders. More keychains and more, and some magnets. And then one of the things I love about the store right here, guys, Magic Bands. This is a cool addition. And then here is where we came in at. There's where we started. So this is the last wall we haven't showed you. And if you guys want a Magic Band, I will come here. Like if you didn't want to get your printed, you know, one of a special one. This is where I find the most Magic Bands. Plain ones, printed ones, but not like make your own printed ones. That's across the, across the way at, uh, what's it called, DTEC? Oh, that's so pretty. Look at the little icons up here. Limited release. You'll find a lot of limited release ones here. Oh, this one's limited release too. Look, Cinderella. Gorgeous. Limited release ones are usually $29.99. Other ones are usually, well, they go from $14.99 to $24.99 to $29.99. And if you are here in the parks, there's a limit to five. Whoa, it's Walt and Mickey and oh, it's so cute. So yeah, it's a great place to come for pins and magic bands. Oh my gosh. You found another Walt one. Oh. Is it a train? It is the Walt Disney World Railroad. That's cool. It's a limited release too. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That's Figment. <laughs> Heading out. That was fun. Like I said, the store just opened a few days ago. It's been closed for months. Super glad it's open. And I wanted to show you everything that was inside it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it. Bye, you Bye. guys. I'll see you guys in another video soon.